welcome. In this video, we're going to be reading six of the 12 zodiac signs. We're going to be reading Sagittarius's relationship and compatibility for the month ahead with an Aries. Sagittarius's relationship and compatibility for the month ahead with a Taurus, Sagittarius's relationship and compatibility for the month ahead with a Gemini, Sagittarius's relationship and compatibility for the month ahead with a Cancer, Sagittarius's relationship and compatibility for the month ahead with a Leo, Sagittarius's relationship and compatibility for the month ahead with a Virgo. So if you wanted one of those signs, that's what's in this. If I didn't say it, it's going to be in the other video that's indexed above and below in a playlist. Also, if you wanted to see how I picked the cards for the main reading, that's available in the playlist. Also, if you wanted the main reading, that's in the playlist. If you want the extended, it's in the description box below. And it's very profound for all Sagittarius's. We have two Archangels that came out to host the reading. We have the Archangel Metatron and the Archangel Uriel, and they really help to guide you along your life path. And I highly recommend it for all Sagittarius's. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. And may Spirit give you all of the messages that you need. These were the hosts of the reading today. We don't have just one archangel that comes out, but we have two archangels that come out. Time to heal. This is liberation. You're liberating yourself. Let the archangels guide you. Uriel and yeah, and I see that there's a soulmate connection. This is a powerful, powerful soulmate connection. to your dream job and your dream career. I highly recommend this for all Sagittarius. the month ahead if Sagittarius is dealing with any of the 12 signs individually all the way from Aries to Pisces the fool at the beginning of her journey has no clue she is one but gets a glimpse of the extent of her folly by the end and that realization sparks the need to begin the journey again to learn more of what she doesn't know and may never be able to fully grasp. This is the Vintage Erotic. They're beautiful cards. I love these cards. If Sagittarius is dealing with an Aries, a lot came out. There's two new beginnings here, and there's a lot of conflict. Three new beginnings and a cycle. There's So we have the Ace, the Ace, and the Princess. All of these are new beginnings. We start here with, you know, there's romance, there's communication, there's talk about this house and going to school and getting a job and you have all of these dreams together it's a brand new journey it's brand new communication I feel full of hope and promise I feel I feel like you have your head in the clouds because you're so in love and this is in the past position. And then there's conflict because we have swords and pentacles and these don't get along. They don't get along. This one's very cool. This one's very hot. This is very down to earth. This is routine. So I see you starting this new routine together. You're, you're starting a new routine. You're practicing your skills. There's a lot of challenges, a lot of hurdles here. I see a lot of passion. There's a lot of sex, 
but the communication really kind of dies down. But I still see that you're starting something new. There's a new routine that's starting. You have the ability to manifest. This is a major arcana card. This is number one on the fool's journey. This is a brand new cycle. You have everything that it takes in order to fulfill this. I see you're following your heart here. There's a golden opportunity. There's a golden opportunity and you're taking it. And I see that new communication is coming in. So we have the beginning of the suit of swords. This is the start of that journey. And then we have the princess of swords, which is the beginning of the court journey. So we have two beginnings in communication. I see a lot of new communication, fresh communication, fresh ideas coming in. I do feel like there's some conflict right here because there's so much passion. This is definitely in your heart. I mean, look at this. Look at these collars. They're the same collars. Yeah, this is definitely in your heart. This could lead to marriage. I see a marriage. Yeah, I see a marriage here. This is a major life event with a lot of new beginnings. If you're not with an Aries, you may meet an Aries. And this is, has a lot of potential. All right. If Sagittarius is dealing with a Taurus... Two cards of Sagittarius is dealing with a Taurus, please. Right. Sagittarius is dealing with a Taurus, please. Two cards. Okay. You got me, didn't you? So I do see a new beginning here. I see somebody who's very emotionally mature. Um, but I see somebody who isn't very good with finances. So we have a very emotionally mature person here. Very stable. Well, you know what? This, that, that castle, eh, it needs some routine. It needs some earth in order to lay down that foundation. But I feel like you're on top of your game emotionally here. There's a new beginning, and this is in your element fire. You know, this, this landscape is very, very, very dry. You think you can't grow anything on it, but look. Look at what could be grown on that. Look at those pyramids. The pyramids. Human innovation can make something out of this dry soil. If you have your emotions under control, if you have enough water to fertilize that, you can have a paradise. But I see finances might be getting in the way. Um, there's somebody who's just out of date, self-centered, just jealous. I feel a lot of jealousy here. It's getting in the way. But I see that you have the elements that it takes in order to make this work. You need to be a little bit more down to earth in this relationship, a little bit more practical. Understand that Taurus is earth and doesn't really like change. You might be able to prepare this. All right, if Sagittarius is dealing with a Gemini, two cards of Sagittarius is dealing with a Gemini. That's your polar opposite on the astrological wheel. Why are we going to have all of these, like, screenplays? Why can't it just be simple? Four cards wanted to come out. So it wants to go like this. All right, so we begin our journey here with the moon, with secrets and lies that are coming out. You know, you feel like you're on top of the world because you figured this out. 
you're... Uh, this is a major life event. This is something big. I see that you are sleeping on it and using... I see that you are using your intuition here, or they are. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. You know, this is a, a good couple. Even though this one is a major life event, this is something day-to-day. -day. This is something stable, something practical. I see financial stability here. I see a stable household. And elementally, these get along very well. But this is very contradictory to who you and Gemini fundamentally are. Because the moon is water. And you are fire. And water puts out fire so there's emotions here there's a lot of emotion here but it makes you feel uncomfortable and you guys aren't seeing eye to eye here you're facing away you're looking at the past you're looking at these these secrets and lies and it's conflicting with who you are because you feel very emotional about this and I see them very outside of their element too because Gemini likes to move the Gemini likes change Gemini values freedom and this is something that's very routine and I feel like they feel caged in they feel very caged in here and they are looking at this money and they're staying because of some sort of like financial tie or financial gain. So I see there's a transition. You're going on a new journey here. I see that we're starting, we're turning, we're turning our back on the past here. And we're going to be looking towards the future. We're very in the now, though. We're not really even in the future. We're not even in the past. We're moving on. We're moving on here. Yeah, this is you. You're celebrating. You're victorious. There could be another person involved here. There's three. There's two holding this person up. See the crowd cheering you on. Look at all those hands. You're on top of the world here. We have the six of wands. This is your life path. This is success. This is when you get recognized. These secrets and lies are coming out. It's very conflicting with your energy because it's so emotional. It's still here because it's a major arcana card. But I see that you're victorious. You come out on top. You're being recognized here. And I feel like they feel very caged. They feel very trapped. And I feel like you're just, this is still you. This is the only one for them. I feel like you're moving on. You're setting sail. You're starting a new journey. You're saying sayonara. And they're like looking at the money. And they're looking at the castle. And they're looking at their home life. And they want this back. They want this back. Because it was stable. It was solid. It was solid. They want this back. But you're not hearing any of this this BS. You're not hearing it anymore. You, you're taking your bow and arrow as the archer that you are as Sagittarius. And you're starting a new journey. You're going off onto something new. All right, if Sagittarius is dealing with a cancer, thank you. Cancer always comes out like that. Just really just flies out. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles here. And then we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> so this is, this is conflicting. So let's start over here. Somebody sees this as great. This is awesome. You know, we have this castle. We have this home life. I'm so happy. I, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in a power seat. And this is a completion. This is as much as I could ever want. There's friendship. There's family. This is happy. And you know what? This would be a beautiful couple. This would be a paradise if this one was in the upright. But it's not. It's in the reverse. You see, look in my mirror. There's emotionally, there's unfulfillment. 
you're not fulfilled emotionally. You're not getting the full picture, the full dream. This one has a baby. This one has a dog. There's no baby in this picture. We want a baby. We want a baby. That's going to make us happy. A new life, a new journey, a, a brand new a brand new journey, a brand new fool's journey. That's what's going to make us happy, but that's not what we're getting. We're getting we're getting something subpar to what we truly want. I mean, there is friendship here, absolutely. Absolutely, there's stability, there's routine, but we're not getting the emotional fulfillment that we truly desire in this. This person's happy, but this person's miserable. Look at her face, she's not happy at all. Yeah, this person's not happy at all. All right, if Sagittarius is dealing Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, I love my Leos, and I'm sure you do too because you're both fire signs. Two cards for Sagittarius is dealing with a Leo, please. Two, well, there's one, okay. One more card if Sagittarius is dealing with a Leo. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. You're both in the power seat here. This is a friendship first and foremost. You two get each other. You get each other. You know, you have mutual friends in common. You know, this person is sitting alone in her power seat. Top of the world. Beautiful. This is a beautiful person. This is like the captain of the cheerleading squad or the the captain of the football team. This is a beautiful person. This is somebody who brings people together and they're sitting in their power seat on top of their subconscious mind, on top of all of their emotions. They're sly. There's that house in the background. Secrets. This person has a lot of secrets, but they hold those secrets well, which gives them some mystery. There's mystery in this person. And there's three people here. They're friends. They're happy. This one's a little bit of an oddball out. This is an oddball out. But they're friends. They get along. They're celebrations. They go places together. They have similar interests. They get along. They get along. All right. If Sagittarius is dealing with a Virgo, if Sagittarius is dealing with a Virgo, two cards of Sag. Awesome. How do you want to be? Okay. So this is the missed opportunity. You know, there was a lack of self love here. There was no growth. There was no growth. The key was here the whole time, but you didn't see that. You couldn't let yourself out in order to blossom. You can't grow when you're inside of your shell. This person couldn't get outside of their shell. And this person's walking away. They're starting a new cycle, a new journey. Yeah, there was love here. There was love here, but... They can't take this. You need to love yourself first. There was too many looming secrets and lies. And they're just like, I can't take this. I'm leaving. I'm out. And they left. If you enjoyed that and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you'd like to help out this channel, please comment share, and like this video. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. These were the hosts of the reading today. We don't have just one archangel that comes out, but we have two archangels that come out.
This is liberation. You're liberating yourself. Let the archangels guide you. Uriel and yeah, and I see that there's a soulmate connection. This is a powerful, powerful soulmate to your dream job and your dream career. I highly recommend this for all Sagittarius.